Pizza Guy Adventure is episode 49, October 5th, 2017, Tuesday night, or ha, Thursday night heat. Woohoo! Um, I don't know, I'm keeping track of the episodes because the last one I did, it, I'm not even posting the full episode because I really only did four segments. I posted the main segment from it and then the other two segments. One, I talked about the Vegas and uh, Tom Petty stuff, and that's on Facebook. I'll repost it on YouTube. And then the other segment, I basically talk about Funko Pops. So episode 48 is getting broke up into three things, but I don't redo, I don't repeat episodes. So 48 got lost in the wash. The only other episode that ended up like that is episode 30, or episode 36. I call it the F-bomb episode. Uh, you know, I, I think the only reason I haven't posted it is the thing I'm planning on doing to make that episode socially postable is I'm going to have to, like, do some stuff to cut out the F-bombs. and But you, may, you might be entertained by I think I've overhyped it at this point, but 36 is a day where I got really bad tips. The day went from, like, horrible to really good within me bitching about work or not, about getting tipped or not. Um, and in response to your guys' comments from episode 48, um, I think I'm going to be able to use this as a podcast, as a single topic platform, the Pizza Guy Adventure as stuff. So it'll be a whole segment. What I'll have to do is I'll look ahead to see if I actually have a roughly a 10 minute drive back to the, the restaurant, I guess you can call it a restaurant, from... If, it, if it's a 10 minute drive or so, then I'll use that whole time to hit the topic I'm doing. I don't have that right now because I'm doing a, a couple deliveries that are pretty close and I, by the time I get into it. Anyway, uh, your guys' suggestions are all greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for chiming in and letting me know what you think. I'm talking to the guy I've been working with and we're going to solidify that format and we're also going to start doing... Uh, live feeds from World on One Games. I've talked with Rudy there. I'm really excited about doing that because my guy I've been working with, he and I have been talking about doing like a geek show type thing and I think we found the grounds to do it. Hit this turn slow so I don't drop my drink. Ha! I don't want to spill it in the new car. But anyway, thank you guys for chiming in on that, tuning in, everything. So I'm going to make sure the rest of this becomes an episode episode. There's going to be it's going to be some juggling, but I'm going to be doing Uber and Lyft soon, and I'm looking at the the protocol of what I can and can't get away with to do that, too. So I will keep you guys posted as to what I can and can't get away with doing those. So here I go. Episode 49 is underway. Big episode 50 tomorrow is going to be, ha, huh, it's going to be a split day. I can't wait to do it. Getting a pizza in the apartment's probably funny because everybody sees that you've ordered pizza and everybody's like, oh, where's he going? And they know that somebody in the neighborhood got pizza and they're all, where's he going? Where's he going? That's kind of funny. Ha ha. Funny. Just had a delivery to a former coworker from my first job. I used, my first job was at, oh no, no, sorry, second job. Because my first job was at Boomers, but I didn't work there long enough for it to really like matter. But my first job, or my second job, that I held for at least over a year, I worked at the business services department at Allen Hancock College, and that job was really, really good. Like it was a super beneficial job. Uh, we only got paid once a month, which is kind of a bad thing about working at schools but that's really it like I learned so much from that job like I learned it was an office job so I learned about organizing things and uh, 10 key uh, phone etiquette all kinds of different things I worked for payroll department I'd help issue out the checks and I worked it was like part the payroll department and part the not human resources, but the people, well, they were there. They, they handled the new hires. Like, my main boss, she handled the insurance and stuff. So, 
It was a lot of like just clerical, like simple stuff, but it was a really good job to sit and learn a whole. It, it's stuff that I use today. There's some jobs I've had where maybe I don't. Well, you learn something from every job, but that job I learned such a high percentage of stuff that works out today in, in, in the not only delivering pizzas, but a, any job like answering phones. Yeah, yes, again, keeping organized, understanding how protocol works, how there's paperwork behind everything. You learn how things work on the other, on the people you're going to be dealing with. If you are young and you're watching this and you have a, a chance to end up working for an office at some point and it's, it's not taking much out of you, you should do it, especially there because they appreciate having young people around. Um, oh, man. It, Good job, good job, good times. Hancock College, business services, building B. Good stuff. About halfway through my shift. Shift! 6.45. Just had a delivery at my old alma mater, Santa Maria High School. Class of 2Gs, whoop whoop! But, uh, the class numbers changed, and I thought it was going to be at one end of the school. I ended up walking across the whole campus one way and back. Well, both ways, what am I saying? I had to go from the stole entry all the way to almost Thornburg, like by the auto shop. Those of you uh, who went to Santa Maria High know how far that is. I went from like where you would go to into the football field all the way, like not into the football field, the, the stole, like by 7 Eleven, all the way down to like auto shop because they are numbered differently than when I used to go there. And I didn't know that. But that's okay. I got some steps in on my Fitbit. I could totally do a whole episode or a whole podcast just talking about high school. I may do that. I don't know if anybody wants that though, but I have so, so, so many stories from high school. Like, some ones that are just like, Sad, and then ones that are just hilarious, and got a whole mix of stories from high school. High school was awesome, and then I was glad when it was over. And t only telling stories from then would explain why high school. Roughly the last hour of my shift, give or take an hour, probably right about an hour. Um, I would have had more postings. It's just been pretty busy actually busy um what i'm trying to do is see how quickly i can get around town in this new car i'm getting down there on gas i want to see how it performs as i get down down to the last like little bit of gas here plus i'm just trying to it, it's kind of cool being able to get around a little bit quicker i wasn't able to do so in the taurus and i I loved that car, but it also didn't have the pickup this did. I'm spending way less on gas already, but it, it did kind of cost me some money to get started, like I said, with the down payment of the car. So, I'm doing good. I'm just kind of busy. My head hurts a little bit. I have a my pillow, and it's a great product, Shelly, and I should review it. But, if it... it, it it hasn't completely made the headaches go away, but it's helped combat them quite a bit. And I didn't do any podcast segments because my deliveries have all been like little ch -ch -ch little quick hits here and there, so I haven't really had a chance to talk about much of that. And I've, I've also been listening to a lot of talk radio. Like Those would be some things to talk to, talk about. Holy crap. There's like five cars pulled over right in the middle of town. I I'm gonna go back that way when I am done with this delivery here and I'll see if I can be a little bit nosy. I, I try not to put people on blast that have been pulled over, but it is also something to watch because people are curious what happened in this town. So we'll see what's up with that right now over there. If it's still cracking when I get on the way back. Uh, the 
Redbird Magic and uh, in the seniors of it should with older people, yes. And well, why why is George Foreman, preacher man George Foreman, lovable girl salesman George Foreman, why is he calling out the dangerous and creepy sleeping dog? Um, Looks so like a five car fender bender on almost like almost Broadway in Maine. Yeah, slightly south on Broadway. Crazy. Pizza Guide. Ha! There. My lens cap. Pizza Guide Adventures. Episode 49. Drawn to a close. Kind of a quick binger of an episode. Didn't really squeeze too much footage into it. It was pretty busy. But I, I'm... I'm not really quitting doing Pizza Guy Adventures. Like, it's kind of, it's a slow taper is what it is. Like, well, first of all, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be working for Domino's because if I renew my phlebotomy license and I drive for Lyft slash Uber, there's, there's really not much point in me. Like, I would go out, and I had a good night tonight, like, but th you can't always bet on it. I know you can't bet on Lyft and Uber either, but you're in a lot more control of what what you are able to do and not do and in terms of where your business comes from and I'm renewing the phlebotomy license like that's my main thing is I want to work days again I don't want to well I know you guys hear me talk about not working days and not getting up in the morning getting that job doing phlebotomy is a totally different animal like working in the medical field people that get in the medical field around here stay with it like that's that would be my my pudding right there so I would do that and then do Lyft and Uber when I wanted to make a little bit extra cash and since I did bust my ass to get that license and never got work with it it feels like something that was done in vain like in vain haha ha, phlebotomy drawn blood in vain so that and I'm also trying to parlay this into doing podcast type stuff, stuff that you guys can maybe just listen to instead of just watching me talk. I'm going to try to put this in more downloadable formats for you guys to be able to enjoy. And so that that's happening. Like it's going to be a process. So that that will be starting Monday. I know I've been skipping out on it, but this time got me got George uh, and then whoever else is gonna be on board for it I, I gotta find out from Rudy how many people he's gonna let me bring in there cuz I got some other people that want to get in on the podcast but it is gonna be difficult depending on how much space we're working with so I'm gonna have to get back to people on that but no matter what there's gonna be some kind of way to for people to interact with us on it AJ's the guy that knows how to use twitch and all that so we'll see but anyway thank you guys for tuning in on episode 40 or episode 49 i appreciate appreciate all your guys' time devoted to watching pizza guy adventures tell people about it if you can let's i, I want to try to get more people watching and more subscribers i've been stuck at like 75 subscribers for like a while now i had like a jump but since I had the jump in subscribers, I haven't gotten any new ones. And even, and I don't mean that in a way of like, I, like I love my subscribers, but I need more because the ultimate, ultimate would be to try to. Every time I see these other YouTubers getting paid to do shit that I think I can do better, it just infuriates me. So. I'm not, I'm all crooked. Thank you. So, anyway, every time I see all these YouTubers that have, uh, have succeeded and it's, it's frustrating. I, I'm, I'm going to have a, a session where I go off about other YouTubers and I shouldn't name drop, but not like it's hurting me to do it because it's not like. I'm gonna get calls from all these guys. Not like PewDiePie is gonna call me up and be like, "Hey, let's work together," or like Phase Crew or any of these fucks. So, 
anyway thank you guys for watching again i appreciate it tell a friend share these videos share the ones you like i'm gonna start cutting clips out so it's more shareable on facebook until next time keep it easy my pacos deuces and trays